Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios, and today I'm going to be talking about tech news. I'm going to be going over the B550 specifications and compatibility 670 chipset to be released in the future, and a few little other details in the tech world. But first, I'm going to be having a 100 subscriber special, so feel free to ask whatever question you'd like of me, be it personal, or the channel, or review items. And I can go over that during that video. Now, let's get started. So the B550 chipset that will be released with new motherboards coming out very, very soon for purchase will be supporting the Ryzen 3000 series that were released on July 7th, 2019, but will remove support for the 2000 series and the 1000 series, but will also support the future 4000 series CPUs coming out probably around November this year. I do not have any insider information. It's just a time frame that should actually work because AMD did say they want to release for 2020. And thanks to this virus, I'm sure things were pushed back pretty darn close to the end of this year. So the highlight of the B550 chipset will be its lower power use, as well as adding that PCI Express 4.0 to graphics and NVMe. This lower power usage means no cooling fan required like on the X570. Now with the release of the Zen 3 4000 series, not the APUs, the APUs are different, they're based on the 3000 series. Now, the CPUs, probably released at the end of this year, will probably have an X670 motherboard for it. And the main difference might be energy efficiency, if I am correct. Now, the main thing about when motherboards were released, because I expected the B550 to be released a long time ago, but usually what happens is, New motherboards and chipsets get released with a new CPU to ensure on released 100% compatibility rather than worrying about did this manufacturer update or that one and worrying about buying that new CPU today and finding you can't use it. So the B550 is I believe to be released with the 4000 series APU processors which are first being on mobile. You may have seen the reviews last month with the ASUS Zephyrus. Uh, notebook and then to desktop. I'm hoping they keep the same energy efficiency being at the 35 watt and the 45 watt TDP for desktop as well as mobile because I'm sure a lot of people like that higher energy efficiency being a smaller package and up to eight cores. Yeah, that is pretty darn sweet. Some might wonder about the yet unreleased, of course. 5000 series Zen 4 processors. They're probably going to be released in 2022. We're probably looking at a late spring or so around this time of year for a release date for that. And the rumor states right now PCI Express 5.0, USB 4.0. Right now we're at USB 3.2, 2 times 2. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous which is 20 gigabits per second, and it's going to be up to 40 gigabits per second, I believe, for USB 4, because generally what happens is generation over generation, there's a doubling of speed. And how about the news for Intel? Well, in terms of the Intel CPU market, there's really not much interesting. Intel has been quite stale in the market and only releasing small updates such as higher speed, but then with higher thermals. So right now, Intel is kind of a stalemate, but late 2021, maybe 2022, Intel will finally, well at least should finally be competitive in the market, far more so than they are now, giving AMD a possible run for their money. Now you might wonder, why did no one actually state before about compatibility with Ryzen 3, the 4000 series? Now I saw ahead of time this being an issue, because there were red flags that were raised. There was a problem with a Pinnacle Ridge and other CPUs that were brought over to the AM4 platform and then a manufacturer said 
we can't fit this all with Ryzen processors on the BIOS. So they had to remove support for these other non-Ryzen processors in a lot of cases in order to support the newer uh, Zen 2. So what I saw happening is, no, this is not going to happen because you can't fit it. But then there's MSI that made the Mac series motherboards with a bigger flash drive, like bigger flash memory for that BIOS. Now, you may think, well, maybe they'll make an exception generally. Generally, it's possible, but generally, companies want everything black and white. It either is for all or is not for all because that way you avoid confusion unless you made another standard like say if they did the B450 Next series or something other that actually tells people this is what works with this. This is where it works with this rather than confusing everyone. And some people may think, well, they just removed the old Ryzen 1. Well, people are still using Ryzen 1. Maybe someone wants to update their BIOS because people do that. Someone might be working the computer and not think, oh, they might be, oh, darn, I forgot. I can no longer use their computer with that 1600 AF. Well, the AF actually is a 2000 series type. Okay, let's say with the 1600X, the original 1600 or 1000 series. Then what? So this concludes today's video. Please don't forget to leave a comment below and please subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified about my future videos. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day. This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware.